Hi and welcome to the Project Knoxville weekly update. This week we finally got the update out for the prototype which included a completely new take on the afterlife feature. Uh, so this is where you spawn as a drone after you've got out or died and now we actually allow you to for example possess wolves, revive other players and even stun them. We also made it a lot easier to start playing by uh, allowing you to join matches that are already in progress. So if you haven't tried it yet be sure to do so. We've also made a lot of good progress on the player character experiments. We are working with this test level where we're testing a lot of things with the player character such as jump distance, jump height, what kind of slope angles you can run off. And uh, Miguel Martin did a really good video running through that level, trying out a lot of the things uh, we're working on. And uh, you should definitely check the, the video out, it's right there in the corner. 15 minute awesome walkthrough of that test level. Asker and Philip has also been working very hard on the communication system for Project Knoxville. It's a fairly complex thing we're trying to do here because we don't want communication to be language dependent. So no voice, no text chat. Instead, we're trying to make a system where you use expressions and icons and gestures and waypoint markers to communicate with other players, tell them where to go, tell them how you feel and not necessarily be too precise about it so you can actually misunderstand each other. So if you want to watch everything we're up to with the communication system and help us with some feedback, be sure to check out the video right there. Mike and Bjarne has also been working on uh, what we call behavioral engineering. What does that mean? Well, it means uh, what can we do in the levels to influence the behavior of uh, people. We can use stuff like light and darkness to make them go in certain directions or push them out. And it's actually quite interesting to see how we can affect how people play just by doing things in the environments. Uh, you can see uh, exactly what they've been up to and what their reflections are on it if you just check out the video right there. So that's what we had for you this week. Be sure to stay tuned to updates on the website and play the Project Knoxville prototype by signing up to the Inner Circle. Remember that it's your feedback that will help us make Project Knoxville the best game we can make and the game that you want to play. So we're really looking forward to hear what you think. Thanks.